Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In my last video, I was on site doing a cable cleanup and a network install. For that site, we needed to use a couple USW Flex Mini. The problem with this, we needed to adopt these into our cloud controller. We were using PFSense and then I have Hostify as my cloud solution. The USW Flex Minis, you're not able to get into a command line interface and do the set inform command to push it to another controller. After a while of searching in the forums, I found a way to do it and that's what this video is going to be about. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon storefront and I'll put the link in the description below. So there's a couple things we need to do to get the USW Flex Mini into our cloud controller. The first thing we need to do is download a Unify controller locally on our computer. And we need to be connected to the same network that the USW Flex Mini is going to be connected to. Very important, we need to download the correct controller version. So I'll go to my settings of my cloud controller and then I'll click on controller. From here, we could see that we're on 6.4.54.0. Now we need to go over to the Ubiquiti download page and download the 6.4.54.0 controller locally on our PC. I'll put the links to everything down below as well. So we can see here under software that it's at 6.5.53 and we can see past software. The one that I want, I'm running on Windows, so it will be 6.4.54 for Windows. If you're running it on Linux, you could use that or Mac OS. We'll click on it and then we'll press download. From here, we're going to agree to the terms and then we're going to download the file. Now we can see the Unify installer has been downloaded. We'll click on it and then we'll run through the setup wizard. So I'll press install and then it's going to install the Unify network controller directly onto this PC. Now it's done installing and we'll press finish. And we could see that it's already launched the Unify installer. We need to wait for it to initialize and then we could launch it in a browser. The Unify controller has started so we could launch a browser to manage the network. We're gonna click on advanced and then we're gonna to proceed to localhost. Now we could give our Unify network controller a name if you want and we need to agree to the end user license and press next. This is where you're going to sign in with your Ubiquiti account if you have one. So I'm going to do that and we'll press next. Step three, we're on the Unify network setup. I'll just press next. And we could see there's one device, which is my USW Flex Mini. I'm just going to press next. We'll adopt it when we get into the controller. It's asking to set up a Wi-Fi network. We don't need a Wi-Fi network, so we'll press skip. And then we'll review the configuration and press finish. Okay, now we're at our Unify network controller dashboard that's on our local host. I'm going to go over to the devices. And we could see the USW Flex Mini is pending. I'm going to click on it and then we're going to adopt the device. The USW Flex Mini is now adopted into our local controller. The next thing we need to do is perform a migration. So we'll go to the settings and I'm going to go back to the classic settings. And under the site, we could see this export site. So I'll click on that and we're going to export the site. So we'll download the backup file. And now we can see that that saved the 6.4.54.unf. We're going to press confirm. And now we need to specify the unified domain that we want to go to. So here I'll be putting in the Hostify IP address, but you'll want to put in the IP address to your cloud controller or the FQDN. But before we do that, we want to load this file into our cloud controller. So I'm going to go back to my Hostify controller. And then I'm going to click on the current site. At the bottom, we could see import site. We're going to give it a site name. I'll call it staging. And then we'll press choose file. We'll want to locate that 6.4.54.unf file and then press open. And now we could see our USW Flex Mini in our controller. But one thing we need to do, we need to go back to our local controller and then finish this migration. So we need to point it to the IP address of our cloud controller. Once we have the IP address entered or the FQDM, we're going to migrate the devices. And then we're going to forget the device from our local controller. Now, if we go back to our cloud controller, we should see the USW Flex Mini migrating to it. And we could see that it's now connected. Now to put this into the correct site, all we need to do is click on the USW Flex Mini, click on the settings wheel, and then we could go to manage devices. Under manage devices, we could forget this device or we could move this device to a different site. For me, I'm going to move it to Mac Telecom Test Network and then press confirm. 
So if we go to the other site of Mac Telecom Test Network, it will show that it's disconnected, but it will come back up as connected and we'll wait a few minutes till that happens. We can now see that the USW Flex Mini is connected to my cloud controller on the site Mac Telecom Test Network. So there's a few steps to get this working. I really wish Ubiquity added the option to get into a command line for the USW Flex Mini but at least we have a way to adopt it into a cloud controller. If you know of an easier way to do this, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.